stepping forward, covering your head, strengthening the groin. The groin was a great go-to target for the Okinawa Karateka. In the west, we have uh, the Marcus of Queensbury rules. So you can punch a head, body, there's rules, somebody goes down, you stop. Hitting below the belt is dirty fighting. We have hundreds of years of that tradition. The Okinawans do not have that tradition. Below the belt was primary target. Punches, whoa. Um, this person in general, he's standing very well. Okay? They'll probably be in a relatively shallow position. Either foot can be forward, you don't get to choose that. And observing real attacks and fights and stuff, it's about 50-50. Half the time they swing and leave one foot behind. Half the time they swing and step. In every case, they're off balance. Every single time. Even an experienced karate guy, okay, I'm gonna punch, whoa, and then they try to reach the target, now you're off balance. So just kind of expect that's gonna happen. So he gets this punch, whip it at my face, and this hand happens to hit it first, and then I go that way. So I'm just gonna cover it and then move in. It's a very subtle change, and yet they say index block, and this helps. This makes you a little bit more accurate, it tends to guide him better. This as a dividing line, and you strike from here down, it tends to bring this part forward. If you strike from here up, it tends to bring this part back. So moving your spine this way and off to the side too weakens them, makes them more vulnerable. Okay? So even in a relatively vulnerable area, you can take a heck of a shot. And I'm telling you, the guy's made of steel, right? <laughs> so, but two shots are just the same. That second one is just nasty. You feel that? So this kata uses both of those principles all the time. Take them off, balance off the line, double tap to finish. And usually in a very vulnerable spot. If I have the time, because he wound up a little bit, I knew that punch was coming, this is going into his face and then down into his groin. So his head's going to rock back and forth. One, two. After here, you're going to step forward this way. I am now worried that he's just going to hit me with the other hand. He's got two hands. So I'm going to take this hand and move it off to the side as I step forward. So it went one, two. So from here, to start here, I want you to touch on the other side of his elbow and step forward at the same time. Body weight on here. Look how he's messed up. I step forward, I got my balance. This is so close, I can't finish my punch. My body weight is going to hit. You can feel it, yeah? And bop, bop. With no reach, no. They're right in front of you. Right? Yep, boom. Okay, nasty, right? Mean. I'm going to wind this arm up, drop down, and step in. See how he's deformed? That's good for me. I'm going to take my hand and put it right here on his neck and step forward. Two. The coach in stance, which we now do like this. Could have once been like this. Could have been like this. Could have been like this. And it evolved over time into being bigger. Turns out the same thing is going on with this. This could once have been here. Could once have been here. Uh, for that matter, could have been here. And they, the JK took out all the deviant stances and made them all the same. They replaced them all with this. So if this was really here, and Sochin was really here, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Which is really handy for somebody who's attacking. I can move in and hit him. Punch again and I can move in and hit him. I can move in and hit him. Just drive in and keep going. This, I believe, is a theme in the kata. Because you do it here. And you do it here. So he throws a punch through your head, cover hit it, other, other hand, off, cover hit it. You don't particularly care what he does. You're driving in and covering at the same time. It's a great theme, nothing wrong with it. That's the same as what we just did. I just happen to be standing a little different. And then if it's Joan or something, you follow it up with a hook punch. But that doesn't work very well for me turning 90 degrees. I have to get, just put your hand here once, I have to get in the perfect spot and try to maneuver around that. I think it's very awkward, very foolish. However, in this instance, we're in this nice big stance. You pull in and then you go back. I actually move away from an attack. So let's just say he's here, sort of 45-ish, and he's trying to hit me. I'm moving away and I cover it. And then I go in and I hit him, sorry. So this one little move, in, out, in, out, 
can hang on to him if you want. But I'm attacking. Yeah. Then I can step forward and smash. One, two. My face, I cover it, I push it up, balance, and I double hit. So just that, I'm, I, I, you see this part, but you have this hand too. Touch, push. It's uh, similar to what we did before, where I said touch, push. It just happens to be that in this fight, my, oh, there it is. I can't leave it there, you can hit me. One, two, I move it. You can do other things. Push his head off to the side, straight, pop, pop, that kind of a thing. So we're here, boom, boom. I have to go like this. Again, I find that if he's punching at me with my right hand, it's terrible. Any turn or change of direction can be a throw. So it's perfectly acceptable. After I bent him and bent him and knock him over and hit him twice, I can be grabbing and lifting, and that would be my turn to throw. You may have noticed that every tack so far has been like with the right hand or a grab, because most people are right-handed. Most people hit with their right. But let's say I got some kind of a freak to hit with his left. <laughs> Okay, so I stand there, I turn around, there's a punch coming at me, oh my god, one, two, cover, okay, so just do that one part, here comes this punch, cover, hit, it's the same thing we did before, just on the inside instead of the opposite, so he punched, I went one, two, hopefully that loosens him up, hit, step forward, three, I went one, two, take both hands and drive it down this way, and this is a techie, or nihanchi, that has these things in it, now people are trying to do this downward block thing, and they do it in an arm bend. Well, it doesn't work. Well, in the kata, it kind of comes in and out. It does this big circle. That's an important thing. I go one, circle, circle, two. So don't open. One, there it is, two. Yeah, it straightens his arms, so he can't move it. This is also right at his elbow here. Not great, just above his elbow. Vulnerable. The other person is a target standing behind him, reaching for you, punching for you, something. He's just going to pick your heel up and jab it into them. All you have to do is pick your foot up and hit him with it. Whoa! And then come in and follow the heel straight, too. So please go slowly, but you can drive this backwards pretty good. And then come in and hit him here. But you could be stomping into his groin, stomping into his inner thigh, kicking his foot up from underneath him. Any of those things. It is natural for me to pick my hand up to protect myself. This is the beginning of this whole turning knife hand block idea. Somebody's going to hit me, and I went, oh my god, I don't want to get hit. You know, simple is better. Simplest in the world is if I have a technique that I can do that covers me, and the same technique I can use for defense. So this one was a block, this one was a strike. This one was a block, this one was a strike. Over and over again, block strike, block strike. It's just in the kata, in the hands, you know, whatever. After you know that, you can see it. Like, oh, of course it is. You went one, two, one, two, one, two. It's just the same thing three different times. It's exactly the same thing. This series, one, two, three, four. We already talked a little bit as charging in against somebody who is trying to smack you. You didn't have your grab, could have been a punch. I'm gonna trap his arms like this, I'm gonna stab him in the throat. I could hit right here in the middle, but it's not good for my training partner. So I'm going to pick slightly off to the side and up. There's a good chance of knocking somebody out with this. Can you feel that? Yes. Whoa. Okay? Then you get to start kicking him. And see how he escapes? You don't want that. So after I have his arm trapped and I hit him, I'm going to grab it and go one, two, finish, three. One, grab the arm, kick, kick, finish him. Two. You see that? Grab his arm with your hand so his shoulder's on its way up. Kick him. Five. Kick him with the other foot. Put your forearm down on the side of his neck. I am going to take my forearm and squeeze one arm into my body this way, and I'm going to hit him in the head with the other one. Having done this successfully, I'm now going to pull back with the other arm and hit him with the other one. So I'm going one, two. You see that? If you can step forward while you're doing this, it puts him off balance in a good way for you. So standing here and doing it is okay. 
Shifting forward is okay. Actually taking a step moves him from here to way off balance. I get to kick him. Bang, bang. It works easy now, doesn't it? So it's fun. Whoa, whoa. A second ago, I was like, oh God, he's so strong. I don't know how to do this. Bang, bang. You're not so strong. It's easy. So I just thought I'd tell you how fun that is. So now when you get to Sochi and you go, oh yeah, cool part. <laughs> I see it coming, and I spin to cover it, much like my knife in block, but now I put a little more enthusiasm into it. I'm going to swing my leg through his head, knocking him backwards, then drop down and hit him in the groin. Just do that part first. Spin, head, groin. And if you can't hit head, don't worry about it. Solar plexus groin works too. This motion, go one, two, one, two, Smash, three, four. What does it mean? I knock the top backwards. I knock the front down. But that makes this a fantastic target for this to drop on. And now my stepping punch drives into a completely undefended target. So I differentiate. When I do my kata, I go one, two, strike. My hands this way, punch. This one's a block. One, two, just in my interpretation. So I change every time depending on what I'm using it for. It's muscle memory. You might as well practice the part you do. He threw a bunch at me and I went one, two, three, four, right? Now I have a different attacker who's attacking from my head or body, uh, probably right here. And I go one to knock him to the side, drive in two. Okay, I have another attacker. Mm, this one, he's going to throw a bunch at my head. I know we're dancing. I'm going to throw it in my head. And instead of staying here and taking this punch, I'm moving into it. I'm going, whoa! But again, look at that whole half of his body is there to hit me with. So after this, I move it over here, where he can't use it. I grab onto it, and then kick him, reach out here and grab hold of here and lift. Got that? Pop, pop! He threw this punch. I shifted into it and went one, two. Grab onto it and kick him, loosen him up. Put your hand here and turn his wrist over so his body comes up like that. And then hit right there. One, two, three. The reason I started grabbing a key was because it made this into a lever. That's a base, that's a lever. See, he's got no place to go. And I know it's a little awkward. So again, you don't have to grab there. Put your hand here, but that's hard on him. Somebody takes a swing at your head or they've grabbed you, I don't care. Come up, smash him in the grind. Push him off balance, two, double punch, three. Somebody comes from the side, knock him down, one, drop him, two, push him off balance, three, double punch, one more. Practice to get behind you, now make it to the left, one, inside, two, three, four, five. Somebody's right behind you, stab him with your heel and elbow. Stab him with your heel, elbow. Somebody's attacking, spin and block, one, strike, two. Somebody attacks with the other hand on the other side, one, two. Now practice it again, here comes the technique, one, two, finish, stab him, three. Grab their arm, one, two, three, hit. Somebody's attacking for your head, take him in the head, hit him in the groin. Take your left forearm, drop it on the neck, one, and then punch, two. Block this guy, one, two. Block this guy, one, two, move the arm over. Grab, three, four, five, six. Wait. How's your hand? <laughs> a little sore. A little sore. <laughs>